Hi, good evening. <laughs> Sherman, they're making noises. I don't know if you heard him or not. Okay. Today is Thursday, July 3rd, 2014, and it is... But banging in there. It is 5.54 p.m. <laughs> Sherman keeps saying good evening. I don't know if you can hear him. It's making me laugh. Stop it. Okay. I am here with your guys' Bible reading for today. I keep doing that. I'm sorry. This lipstick keeps getting on my teeth. I don't want to look stupid. I shouldn't even put it on. I think it's because I put the lip gloss over top of it. So if I... If you guys see lipstick on my teeth while I'm doing this video, I apologize. <laughs> because once I'm on the Bible screen, which, which I am right now, I can't see myself. So right now I'm not able to see myself on the webcam, so... And that's a good thing, because I don't like looking at myself. Anyways, I wished it would just show you guys the Bible screen, so you could read along with me, so you wouldn't have to look at my face either. But I have no idea how to do that. People do it, but I don't know how. Uh, with a built-in webcam. I'm not talented like that. I can't do those kinds of things. I wished I could. <clears throat> I know it would be a lot better for you guys. But let's get started, guys, um, with Acts 21, 37 through 22, 16. Paul's defense before the Jerusalem mob is first. As he was about to be brought into the barracks, Paul said to the commander, Am I allowed to say something to you? He replied, Do you know Greek? Aren't you Egyptian who raised a rebellion some time ago and led 4,000 assassins into the wilderness? Paul said, I am Jewish man from Tarsus of Cilicia, a citizen of an important city. Now I ask you, let me speak to the people. After he had given permission, Paul stood on the steps and motioned with his hand to the people. When there was a great hush, he addressed them in the Hebrew language. Brothers and fathers, listen now to my defense before you. When they heard that he was addressing them in the Hebrew language, they became even quieter. He continued, I am a Jewish man, born in Tarsus of Cilicia, but brought up in this city at the feet of Garmali and educated according to the strict view of our patriarchal law, being zealous for God, just as all of you are today. I, perse I persecuted this way to the death, binding and putting both men and women in jail, as both the high priest and the whole council of elders can testify about me. After I received letters from them to the brothers, I traveled to Damascus to bring those who were prisoners there to be punished in Jerusalem. Now we're getting to Paul's testimony here. As I was traveling in near Damascus about noon, an intense light from heaven suddenly flashed around me. I fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to me, Saul, Saul. Why are you persecuting me? I answered, Who are you, Lord? He said to me, I am Jesus, the Nazarene, the one you are persecuting. Now those who were with me saw the light, but they did not hear the voice of the one who was speaking to me. Then I said, What should I do, Lord? And the Lord told me, Get up and go into Damascus, and there you will be told about everything that is a sign for you to do. Since I couldn't see because of the brightness of that light, 
I was led by the hand of those who were with me and came into Damascus. Someone named Aeneas, a devout man according to the law, having a good reputation with all the Jews residing there, came and stood by me and said, Brother Saul, regain your sight. And in that very hour I looked up and saw him. Then he said, The God of our fathers has appointed you to know his will, to see the righteous one, and to hear the sound of his voice. For you will be witness for him to all people of what you have seen and heard. And now, why delay? Get up and be baptized and wash away your sins by calling on his name. Which, of course, is the name of Jesus. And that's where we're going to stop with Acts today. So that was Acts 21, 37 through 22, 16. Tomorrow we will see how the people reacted to uh, Paul's testimony. Psalm 1, Book 1, Psalm 1 through 41. Psalm 1, The Two Ways. How happy is the man who doeth not follow the advice of the wicked, to take the path of sinners, or join a group of mockers. Instead, his delight is in the Lord's instruction, and he meditates on it day and night. He is like a tree planted inside streams of water that bears its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither, whatever he does prospers. The wicked are not like this. Instead, they are like shaft that the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked will not survive the judgment, and the sinners will not be in the community of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, by the way of the wicked leads to ruin. Psalm 1, Book 1, Psalms 1 through 41, Psalm 1, The Two Ways. And last for today is Proverbs 18, 11, and 12. <laughs> A rich man's wealth is his fortified city. In his imagination, it is like a high wall. Before his downfall, a man's heart is proud, but humility comes before honor. And that was Proverbs 18, 11, and 12. <clears throat> okay, guys, that was today's Bible reading. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. I hope you guys are having a great day. Still having trouble with this page. Ever since they changed it. So aggravating. There. But I um, hope you guys have a great day. hope you have fun watching the um, fireworks tonight if you're going to Jackson. Because I know they're letting off fireworks there tonight. Um, went by there today and seen where they had some food booths set up getting ready. So um, hope the ones that are going have a good time. Or if you're going somewhere else to watch fireworks this weekend, hope you have a great time as well. We're not going anywhere, but... Um, they're going to have fireworks here where we live on the 5th, um, which is Saturday. So I don't think I'll even go out and watch them, but I'll just uh, open the window. Maybe I can see some from the window. So um, I hope you guys have a great 4th of July weekend. Let's bring those souls to Jesus. And God willing, I'll see you all um, tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys.